Okay, so I'm at another warehouse. Even my other world, the two story warehouses, like the one I was at, which is way over there. <clears throat> but the two story ones, when I try to go to the second story, they tend to crash. I don't know why. It just says something can't load, I think. I can't remember. But we're at a new one, so I'm just going to run through and quickly. Um, get up a couple floors and show try and show what I was looking for.
Okay, finally on another level. And this one doesn't look much different. There are a bunch of different icons there, other than lights. I'm not sure what the lighter blue ones are. Bearings, thing. Oh, they're like seats and stuff. Okay. This is the one with the offices. Yeah, this is the one with the offices. So I'm going to skip through this level and go to the next. Okay, I'm going to really quickly, if this is still recording my voice, copy and paste the save file so that it doesn't mess up on me. Okay, third floor. This should be more interesting. You hear any thumping? It's because the wipes in the show. Okay, so as it loads, we should see the dots change as they did. What is this? 
I don't think this one has any actual like warehouses or anything. I'm gonna run through this one. I think. What's this? This is the office one. The other one was something else. Just boom. Okay, well. I'll run through this one quick. Uh, no, never mind. I'm too lazy. I'm just gonna meet Mike again and do it the same way as before. Whoops. Okay, this should be the level I'm looking for. So the elevator comes. I'm just like boring a hole through the middle of each level. <laughs> Last elevator. So as I said before, you can block the doors from closing. And then it should just kind of despawn that level and respawn the other one instead of freezing and then spawning me out. Alright, is this what I'm looking for? My, it is. There's a um, a gantry right there, which means is this the right one? I don't know. I have to run through this. Okay. See, the other, other one I was in had like a master switch that was attached to a bunch of lights and stuff. I think this is the fourth level or floor. Oh crap. All of the lag. in here just okay I will take up of this good
And that's how you deal with those. Okay, that is some ducting. I don't want to go to that one. I want to go there. So I just need to kind of keep running through, run up. These are so confusing. Okay, that's the way I came in. We go this way. You stop shooting me. That's just for a uh, fan. But they use the motors with battery, so they don't work. Same with that one. That one. What kind of light is that? I have no idea what light that is. I really like that. Hmm. Anyways, um, go this way. This might be right. Okay, storage. Yes, okay. This is what I was looking for. So here's the gantry crane that doesn't work because they didn't put motors there are batteries in the motors. But we go over here. Now this is where the uh, anti-destruction and anti-connection come in handy. Because if we go... There's cryptor sign destruction, cryptor sign connection. Here's connection and destruction over there. And then there's these things, which protects the creation from damage and uh, creations from uh, hides the connections. And you were supposed to connect it to a battery container. But you can't actually normally spawn these right now, as far as I know, even in creative. But I haven't really played in creative. But if you come into this room, it looks like it's just nothing. But now that we can destroy everything, It's like a normal ramp back here. Take it out so it's a little easier. You see, it's just like a platform. Hopefully, Mike didn't just pick that up. Oh, there it is. And there the thing is. And. I can use it. 
but if I turn on thingy again, um, crypt, I can't use it anymore. Can't make connections, can't break anything, and it's the same with that. But I'm going to try something. If I go decrypt, become unrestricted again. Oh, that's just the light. It's just connected to a light for some reason. Um, where's said light? The said light shines on it. It's just wrapped in. It's completely encased. You can see the light from it up there, kind of. But I don't even know what kind of blocks this is based in or anything. But we'll go up here. Thank you. Oops. The light's right there. And I'm stuck on the lift. So you've got the light that's up there. So now I'm going to click this. was working before. but either way that's there and then the one for destruction is in here I'm gonna remove as much of the wall as I can at each time Just try not to blow up anything. There's some of that uh, yellow caution tape. Kind of weird. I'm just going to blow this up after, but for now, to actually properly show you. And there's the blue one. Same thing. This one connects to those lights. That one, I think, would normally connect it to. If I click on that, it doesn't do anything. Which is weird. Right, that isn't connected to the light. The light's connected to a switch that's behind it. I remember. It's just a beam. Okay, so yes, there's a switch behind it. And like, you don't even get to see this. It's so cool. Just trying to get in behind it without wrecking it yet. How far into the wall do the cables go? How big is this? So the switch is, or it's a sensor. Right, it's a sensor. <clears throat> so when this is gone, the light turns on. And that light turns on. But it also has its own indicator light. And I don't know why. If I turn it on and go encrypt, we're restricted, can't do anything, can't break, can't build, nothing. But if I go decrypt, turn it off, and crypt again. I still can't do so. So that's just acting like a switch. But if I get rid of them both, I'm just gonna kind of oof, there. You can see the light went off, and I'm going to get rid of this, just like so. and go and crypt. Each warehouse only has one. 
of each. And it still doesn't let me do anything. So I don't know what their purpose is, right? I just thought it was really cool and thought you, you, um, and thought it would be really cool to show. Um, let's blow this up and see what happens. So the lighting updates, but let's blow the wall up. There's the little thing the uh, thing was mounted in, kind of blown up now. I'm trying to keep explosives where they're not going to do a ton of damage. I should grab the small ones. It's just a box. This is just some kind of box room. Yeah. Its only purpose is to house that in this thing. Because there's those pipes that go to that. And then the electricity. But around the room is just nothing. What is that piece? Ivy. I think it's Ivy. But there's still like metal stuff up there, so like how big is this? So there's as high as you can go, there's as far this way as you can go. And then you should be able to go to I'm just going to do this one more time in here, and then show you the other room, see what happens. So yeah, this is just getting bigger and bigger. Let's try the other room. What's in there? Nothing special. I just want to connect the two rooms really quick. So yeah, they literally just butt right up to each other. The floor's even hollow here. I wonder why. I'd like a free cam. Like, you can go... Oh. It, you, it does something outside of here, I think. But you can type in camera or something, and it will, um... Put the camera to like the center uh, point of the map. It's really weird. And there's the light updating from the sensor going off. But once again, it's just nothing back here. Like. Those are like fans and grates and stuff, but it's the gantry. Elevator, elevator. I don't know. Where's the elevator right there? I'm gonna try and go above the elevator. It's because I can. Reminds me of playing uh, Minecraft. Okay, there we go. I'm now down to the elevator from another thing. So I'll just call it down. This will all out more. Because that one should take me to the roof.
More big bad guys. No more shooting at me. Stop. Karma. And there's the elevator. This should be the roof. Once again, you can see. I wonder what happens if I do this. And it's not moving! Oops. Crap. And I'm not As I thought. Where, once again, you can only do certain things on certain stuff. So yeah, that's, uh, bad. It's really weird. Like, you can't see what's in here. Yeah. Where are my truck went? But yeah, that's, um... <laughs> um... That's how the warehouses work. And what they're like... From a different angle, I'll say. Um, yeah. I'll probably play through and dig some more through them and whatnot another time, but for now. I hope it was interesting. Um, I hope it answered at least a couple of questions. I've still got a bunch. Um, I'm going to see if I can dig through the walls and make some kind of base within the warehouse. I'd also like to see if I can get vehicles in there without console commands. But anyways, for now, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.